Throughout history, left-handed folks have had it tough. They have been forced to fit in a world clearly orchestrated with them as an afterthought. I mean, look around you. Everyday tools like scissors, corkscrews, can openers, just to name a few, have been designed to favor the right-handed. Also, the majority of the world's population has always been right-handed, with a whopping 90% while the remaining 10% are left, feeling like they got kicked out of the cool kids club. Back in the day, it was even seen as diabolical to be left-handed, and so lefties were forced to switch. And it is believed that this forced conversion confuses brain functionalities, leading to problems like dyslexia, stuttering, brain and learning disorders. This just begs the question, why is it so? Does nature have favorites? Well, perhaps, but here are some other key factors at play. Number one, the human brain. Apart from being the control center of the central nervous system, it is divided into two hemispheres, with each hemisphere controlling the opposite side of the body. Simply put, the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and vice versa. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Stuff like logic, language, and even fine motor skills are determined by the left hemisphere. As a result, the right hand, which is controlled by the left hemisphere, becomes the dominant hand for writing, eating, waving, etc. So, our brains are the first culprits of favoritism. Next on the list is genetics. Now, whether you're left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous, Researchers believe that another strong determinant of handedness is genetics. Note that there isn't just one handedness gene. Instead, multiple genes work together to influence this trait. These genes are believed to play a role in brain development, especially in establishing right-left asymmetry that creates preference for a particular hand. Society had also played a huge role in all of this, at one time, it fought hard to eradicate left-handedness from existence. Many had even associated left-handedness with undesirable traits, such as stupidity or dishonesty. We can see this in various cultures and beliefs. For example, in Africa, it is termed impolite to receive or give gifts with the left hand. Also, in 19th century Europe, homosexuals were often termed left-handed, and others believe that it is bad luck to cross paths with a left-handed person at the start of a journey. But despite these challenges, left-handed people have proven that being the exception doesn't mean being at a disadvantage. As a matter of fact, some of history's most creative and brilliant minds, such as Leonardo da Vinci, Marie Curie, and Barack Obama, were left-handed. So, why are most people right-handed? Well, it's simply an interplay of brain structure, genetics, and cultural influences. Our brains may influence our handedness, but societal pressure has significantly impacted the prevalence of right-handedness. That being said, whether you're left-handed, right-handed, or somewhere in between, just know it's all part of what makes us uniquely humans. Keep that in mind whenever you pick up a pen, and hey, whichever hand you use, just make sure it hits that subscribe button.